Hello, welcome to this video where we're going to show you how, what's this we? I guess it's just me. I'm going to show you how to, uh, in Lightroom CC, use uh, the software to help you label your photo so that you can um, then just edit the ones that you've labeled, okay? So we'll also walk through a little bit of the interface, how it works just a little bit, so the different view modes and things like that. And then we'll walk through the rating system and show you how to use it to uh, select photos that you will then spend time editing. So here we go, let's head over to Lightroom. Um, I'm showing you a, a selection of photos from a trip to Bremerton a couple years ago. And um, in this view, this is called the grid view the grid view. And you can change the size of the grid in the lower right corner. Uh, there's a little slider. And as you drag it to the right, the photos will get larger in the grid. I usually have mine around five across. Um, it's just kind of a nice compromise of size and being able to see what's going on. Uh, across the bottom then, you have um, in the middle bottom, you have uh, these stars, and that's what uh, system we're going to use for rating. And then you have these other two um, flags, and one is an X, which means you reject the photo, and one is a check, which means you say yes to the photo. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to this in a minute. Uh, continuing to the left across the bottom here, we have the, uh, the sort view. So you can sort your photos by uh, capture date, import date, so on and so forth, or you can create a custom order. Uh, so you can just drag and drop them into the order you want for whatever reason you want to do that. Um, and then uh, these are the three different uh, view modes of what you see in the center of the screen. So currently we are in the grid view. Uh, to the uh, right of that is the single photo view, and that would be whatever photo is selected will be highlighted here. And then uh, you have this other uh, kind of layout view, which is the grid view gives you a little more information than uh, this other view. I'm sure it has a name. If I put my mouse over, it will show me. That's called the photo grid. So this has less gaps between uh, and it's less information, a little less data. Um, I'm kind of used to this from Lightroom Classic. So uh, additionally, when you're in the single photo view, uh, across the bottom, you have a couple other options on the right-hand side. Uh, you have the option to fit the photo to, to, that, uh, to the available space, to fill, which means it goes corner to corner. I'm not sure why you'd use this. Uh, and then you have one-to-one, -one, which zooms in on the image. Um, and then additionally, to the right of that is, um, you can turn off the film strip, which is the, the strip of photos below at the bottom there. So sometimes if you're, especially if you're working on a smaller screen, this uh, film strip uh, view can help you see your photo a little bit larger. All right, let's go back to the grid, go back to the grid. So let's go to sorting now. I wanna show you how, uh, I think I have how many photos? 69 photos here. And I'm gonna show you my process for walking through the photos quickly and making a decision very quickly, rapidly, whether the photo is a yes or a maybe, or it's a no. So here's how I do this. When, I, if I, when I'm gonna look at the photo, what I'm gonna do is click it twice to enter the single photo view, and then I'm gonna hide the, um, the film strip. So I'm just looking at my one photo, and I wanna go back to the fit um, view, okay? So I'm in fit, single photo, no film strip. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my arrow keys on my keyboard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use just my hands. I'm not gonna use my mouse for the next minute or two. And I'm just gonna quickly go through the photos. So I'm gonna start with this photo. Is this photo a yes or a maybe? And just like that. You gotta decide quickly. It's not a long process. If you're thinking too hard, it's a no, okay? So, um, I don't think so on this photo. I don't love it. So if I don't love it or it's it's not a yes or a maybe, I'm just going to go to the next photo with the right arrow key. So I have my right hand over the arrow keys and then my left hand is hovering above the number five key on the top of my keyboard or you can use the keypad uh, if you have a full size keyboard. Okay, so uh, on photos that are yes or maybe, I'm gonna hit the number five. On photos that I don't like, I'm just gonna go to the next photo. So I'm gonna go to the next photo, 
Here's the next photo. I like that a little better. He's the, the seagull's in a little clearer spot. I'm not going to tell you why I like them all after this. Okay, so we hit number five on that. You notice the five stars across the bottom lit up. Um, okay, next photo. Maybe that. So I'm going to just give it a five for now. Um, maybe again. I like the water drops. No, I already got a seagull. I uh, already got one of these. Ooh, I like that because it's a little taller at the top. I mean, I filled the top of the frame. So that's a maybe. Uh, no. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the photos kind of quickly. And away we go. That's a maybe. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through the photos quickly, but I'm not going to make you watch all of them. So uh, skip ahead, Michael, to the end of the sort. Oh, before I skip ahead, you should only spend like two to five seconds per photo. If you have to spend longer than that, it's a no. Okay, I'm all done now. Uh, and I've done the first sort. So I've returned back to the grid view and uh, just so you can see the last of the photos. Um, uh, it probably took about two, three minutes. Um, the, the more experience you have at this, the faster you'll get at it. Uh, so what I've done is I've made a, I've gone through all the photos that were in the, in the album. Okay. So always go through all the photos. Um, so next step, what I want to do is just look at the photos that I've given a five star to, okay, that I've said are five stars. So we do that up near the top, in the top of the, um, the window, uh, there's a, to the right of the search box, there's a little shape and it's supposed to look like a funnel. So a funnel is just show me this, not that. So I'm going to click on it and I have these options of how I can funnel or choose filter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the stars. So I'm going to click on the five stars and now I'm just seeing the photos with five stars. You can see over here on the right, it's, I'm, I've got 25 photos. I started with uh, 40 uh, with 69, but now I'm just seeing 25 that have the five stars. So this will happen to you too. When you know if you got 40, 50, 60 photos, your first pass, you might end up with 20 or 30. And for our assignments in class, uh, you want to get down to 10. So uh, I'm going to go back through the, through the photos again, and this time on the photos that aren't as strong, that I don't like as much, or maybe I have something that's really similar, I'm going to hit the zero key, and that will turn the rating off. Uh, the, it doesn't delete the photo, it just turns the rating off, so now while I'm in this uh, funnel or filter view, I will not see those photos. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to come up here and double click the first photo, and uh, uh, I'm going to zero this. Uh, it's not as strong as some of the other photos. So I'm going to hit zero. And now a um, uh, photo disappears from the view. Also, I uh, have some other similar ones to this. I don't like this as well. So I'm going to hit zero. I have similar to this. So I'm going to zero. This will be the one of those three that I keep. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going through now. And uh, again, I'm going to hit zero on photos I don't like as much and just keep going through until again you've gone through the whole list uh, not the whole list the whole album again and uh hit zero on the ones that maybe weren't quite as strong as you thought when they looked at them the first time oh. so um let's go back to the grid view will that tell me how many yeah now i have 17 photos 17 so i'm going to keep sorting now in the grid view because i'm trying to get down to 10. Uh, so I'm going to increase the size of this view a little bit. There we go. Oops. There we go. Um, I'm going to zero that. Again, I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but what I'm trying to do is get down to 10. So I'm watching this number up here. It says one of 16. Um, yeah. All right. So now I'm down to 10 photos and that's where you want to be for most of the assignments in class. So again, I started with 69 photos in this album and the first time I went through I think I had uh, 23 or 24 selected and then I went through it again and got down to about 17 and then made my final group here um, to get down to 10. 
So that's what you'll do on every assignment. Um, you'll take 20 to 30 photos for most assignments, sometimes more than that. And then you'll generally turn in 10 photos, uh, sometimes five. But for most assignments, it's 10. Double check Canvas to get that information. So this is a great way. Then now you just have your photos that you can view. And then you come in here and you start editing. So you're not editing the photos that didn't make the cut this time, but the neat thing is you've just sorted them so they're not visible, um, but they're still there, okay? And when, if I want, when I'm, ready, when I'm done uh, with the filter, I can just uh, turn off the different elements. So I'm in the Bremerton album. Uh, I'm gonna click off the five star and turn off the edit for just a minute. Go back here and go back to the grid. And you can see I'm back to all 69 photos because I just turned off that sort. So you can go back and forth between sorted and unsorted. So let's go back to sorted and, oops, sorry, click on that and then do this five and we're back to our 10. Okay. So that's the sorting system, the sorting system, the five star rating system that I use in Lightroom to uh, help me take a big batch of photos, get it down to a more manageable group of photos. Uh, gets rid of the ones that I feel uh, have the best story to tell, do the best for the type of project I was working on, and those are the ones I'll spend time editing. Okay? If you have questions on how this works, uh, please let me know. Send me a, a note, uh, email, uh, stop by the Zoom uh, online time, or leave a comment in the uh, down below where the comments go on this video. All right, that's it for now. Hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, I will see you again in a future video about all things Lightroom CC.